Today's update in Apex Legends gave us the Season 21 teasers and some really cool lore, and it also broke the game completely, gave us unreleased skins, gave us special reactive skins, and gave me the reactive flatline skin for free. All of this happened today, so let's get into it. First of all, as soon as I opened Apex, I noticed the new chapter is available for the storyline that is following Horizon in her quest to get a part of the Time Gauntlet so that she can travel back in time to finally be with her son again. And the final part of this story was revealed today where Octane and Horizon were both competing in some kind of tournament in order to win one of Duardo Silva's belongings. And what actually ended up happening was Octane won, but he won for Horizon. He won the piece of the Time Gauntlet and actually just gave it to Horizon, as you can see here. You pulled out all the stops, Horizon, but not enough stops to stop the Octane! <laughs> I... I suppose so, dearie. Yo, saw you eyeballing this at the museum. It's all yours, amiga. Octavio, you won, so you get to keep one of your dad's relics. I am one of his relics. Besides, it's nice to see it go from a deadbeat dad to a good mama. Oh, Octavio, you're a good boy. Nee, man. Ah, you say that, but... I'm keeping the trophy. Shiny. <laughs> Now, I thought this was supposed to be some part of an event. If you look on the news tab in Apex, you can see we were supposed to have a Horizon versus Octane event where you'd play Horizon or Octane to add to their stats. And whichever legend had the most kills by the end of this mini event, well, they'd end up winning the tournament. But maybe that event's scrapped now because they kind of just straight up revealed that Octane won. I don't really know. But let's move on to the Season 21 teaser, which is insane. Right now on Broken Moon and Storm Point, there's a giant green portal. As soon as you load in, you'll see in the sky it's pretty hard to miss a huge green portal will appear and you can see the entire olympus map flying through it. Now, it's kind of weird that the portal's on Broken Moon and it's on Storm Point, meaning it must be two separate Olympuses. I don't know. But it is believed that this giant green portal was opened up by the upcoming legend, Ulta, who does have abilities where they can create portals, they can phase through walls, they can create a regroup portal for her entire team. So it seems as though she's created this giant portal to destroy Olympus and just send it flying into one of the other maps. I'm not entirely sure why she's doing this, but apparently she's trying to get in contact with Horizon because she knows Horizon has the time gauntlet and she can use that to travel back in time because apparently Alter's parents are dead so she probably wants to go back in time to save them. But still not entirely sure why Olympus is being targeted. <laughs> Maybe since that's where Horizon does her work. But over the next week we'll see more of this develop and Olympus will get closer and closer to the maps and probably end up exploding. But this is all related to the new legend and it's tying in the lore for next season where hopefully we will see a big Broken Moon map update because that is one of the maps a lot of people have wanted to see change. But let's get on to more of what went on in today's update, which got a little bit out of hand, and Apex hasn't been normal for a while now. But in today's update, if you check your inventory right now, you might see a lot of your skins are not there, some skins that you don't own are there, and even skins that aren't released yet are in your inventory. If you take a look, a bunch of skins for the upcoming Urban Assault event are in the game right now, like the R99 skin, which looks pretty cool. You can actually get that right now in game for some reason. Reason. There's an RE45. I mean, there's a bunch of skins you can see here that are in the game right now that are in the next collection event coming next week. And for some reason, they've just appeared now. You can also see the reactive flatline skin appears in your inventory. And I was able to craft it with 30 crafting metals, which makes no sense at all. But I did it anyway, because if it gives me the reactive skin for free or for 30 crafting metals, then, you know, I'm just going to take that. So I crafted it and I can't actually equip it. I tried equipping it, but it doesn't let me. So it seems like you can't equip items that you didn't already own, but you can still preview them in the game right now, which is really weird. A lot of people mentioned they also saw the... Havoc Reactive Recolor, which was actually made all the way back in like season two or three. And the Recolor is rumored to be coming in the future, but right now people can see it in the game. So there you go. That's the Reactive Havoc Recolor that might be coming soon. Some people said they also got Pred Badges, even though they've never been Pred. And a lot of people's Battle Passes also got reset again. I know that happened recently and they fixed it. But yeah, Apex are having an absolute nightmare. I'm sure it's not fun for the devs trying to uh, sort all of this. But one thing I would say, if you were 
are planning on buying anything right now, uh, probably hold off. If you spend any Apex coins, get any items, if the devs have to roll back this update, then you'll probably lose all of that, and there is a chance that you actually lose your Apex coins. So I'd advise definitely not buying anything. In the store right now, there is two new items. It is the Vivid Night Store, which actually gives us the lifeline recolor of her Mischief Medic skin, which looks pretty cool, and it has a special select animation. But yeah, if you did want to buy that, I'd probably not buy that until we know this whole issue has fixed for sure. Because you could buy it, and then they roll back the update, and you lose your coins, and you lose these skins. Also, for a small period of time, many players were reporting that their heirlooms were missing. So that could have also come to a shock for you, but it does seem like they are fixing most of these issues, and most of these issues will hopefully have been fixed by the time you're watching this. But yes, people's heirlooms got removed from their inventory, so hopefully that's not affected you, and all your heirlooms are still there. And in today's update, Apex also decided to bring back something no one asked for. The Hot Drop Store, which if you don't remember is this special store where everybody gets different items that are kind of tailored towards items that you need you get five choices and you know what we'll do it live right now this is my hot drop let's see what i get so we've got the black heart bundle for caustic we got the non-state actor Maggie skin for 1250. As you can see, there's apparently discounts on these, but we know from before these discounts didn't really make much sense. Uh, we got this cool rampart bundle, which is a pretty good discount. We got this P2020 skin, and yeah, and then a horizon bundle. All of these things definitely not going to be buying, and I'm definitely not going to be buying with everything that's gone on recently. I don't trust buying anything in Apex right now, but there you go. The Hot Drop store is back, so you can check it out, see if you get anything that you've really wanted, and this will last for an entire week, so you have one week to do it, and the store doesn't refresh daily. It's just one chance that you get of opening these, but don't feel pressured into buying anything. That's just a tactic they use to make you think that you should buy any of these stuff. You know, only buy stuff if you really want it. But there you go. Today's update was absolutely chaotic we had some really awesome season 21 teasers a lot of cool lore leading into next season which i'm super excited for we're not going to be getting the district map next season a lot of people were expecting that but it turns out it was supposed to come next season but some of the pois aren't actually finished yet so that's been delayed till season 22 so we can probably expect some kind of broken moon map update with this whole portaling olympus shenanigans going on but yeah keep an eye out on that olympus portal and see if it gets any closer as the week goes on. And here's a note to end on. Respawn have just tweeted out that they're aware of the issues involving the cosmetics, heirlooms, and premium battle passes, and they are investigating, so we just have to stay tuned for updates. But I can imagine this one might take a while to fix, and hopefully we get rewarded with some Apex packs again, because we recently got eight free packs because of the previous issues, so if we get more free packs, then, uh, you know, maybe that'll make up for it. So, Respawn, if you want to give us some packs, then, uh, yeah, you know where to find us. But let me know the craziest things you've noticed in today's update in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one